Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for taking the time to check out this short tips and tricks video. Hey, I saw another great question in the x -Lights group and I thought I'd tackle it and try to make it very simple to help understand how effects are rendered and layered. So first thing you need to understand in uh, x -Lights, we have different ways that we can render effects. We can do them in group levels. We can do them in, uh, so here's a group. And then we could also have, let's say, here's here's uh, here's the mini trees. These are in one group. That's a group of, of props there. But they could also be in another group, say this group here. So you can see they, that effects can render in either the all yard group here or just the mini tree group. So if I have an effect assigned to the mini tree group, it may interfere with this other group that also might have sequencing on it. And sometimes the effects don't play well together. So what I want to show you is I want to show you just a little bit of what I'm talking about. The um, We'll go to the all groups up here at the top and we're going to show you the all yard. I'm just going to put the, um, I'm going to put the spiral effect on here. So you can see the all yard is just doing the spiral effect. Now, if I come down here, um, if I come down here and I look for the mini trees right here, and I put the on effect, and I change the color to white. So now it'll look like there's bars going across, but you can see how it goes right across it. Now, what's going on here is something extra that you may not be aware of. Uh, two things. First, we're going to go into the view. We can go and look at our view. If we click on, um, and I have it up here, this is our display elements. If you notice, you have a master view, and then you also have other views that you can create. What I've gone and done is I've created a new master, and I actually run this as my master I don't use my master view. I create a new master and I click this make master button and whatever the um, order is up here, this is how the effects are rendered. They're rendered from inside the model or inside the group. They're rendered, rendered from the bottom up inside the group, but then as a whole display, they're, mo uh, they're modeled in this new master here, make master that is, and they're rendered from the top down. So with that being said, this being up here, uh, I need to change this back to my all groups because it has it there. So now what this is saying is my all yard, because it's located in my master, it's located at the top here, it's gonna supersede whatever's on the bottom here. So if I wanna block out this sequencing, I can. the only thing I can do is get it off of here. I can move this and obviously there's nothing there now to cover it up. So this is confusing. I'm going to throw even more of a curveball to you. Um, let's go in and look at our settings. I'm going to move this display element screen out of the way. Let's go into our settings. And there's another setting that you may not know about. See this box here? It's right in our sequence setting screen. It says allow blending between models. If you have this kind of thing where you, you're running an effect on one thing that's in a group, but that group is also in another group, and you're trying to sequence them both at the same time, you can not allow that to happen by removing the checkbox and not allowing blending between models. I'm going to move that out of the way. And I'm going, oh, I got to click OK. Huh. Click done. Now watch what happens. So now what's just happened is anything that is posted at the group level or the model level will be superseded because this is now the main level. This is where the sequencing is going to occur. If I take this off and delete this effect, bam, now when we click on the effect, it will actually show the effect that was at the lower model level. It's rendering from the top down over top of these models, all because we have this view set as our master, not this view, but the, the new master is set as our master view. And because of the way this order is on that new master view. So I know this is a little confusing, but anytime, anytime at all that you want to create sequencing, 
um, and you want layered effects, you, you have to be able to allow blending between models. And this is going to be something that you're going to have to really play with. Uh, if you're, if it's not intuitive, it's really hard to explain this. Um, there's probably better people that have better ways to say this, but at the same token, um, we can, we can leave that setting there. I'll click done to it. And then I can go back up here and I can put, uh, the, uh, Garland effect say, and we can change the color to something different. So, oh, whoops, I have it on the wrong model. So you can see there how, how the effect is rendering over top of the model, but we're allowing it to blend because we went into the sequence settings screens. I hope this gives you an idea of how the effects are rendered whenever you want them to blend versus when you don't want them to blend. There are times that you really don't want it to blend and that's okay as well. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this tips and tricks video that's brought to you by Pixel Pro Displays.